Good day everyone to all the participants and guests for the 8th International Conference on Social Sciences, Humanities and Technology 2024. We are very humbled to present our research entitled Science Comics as Educational Materials and its Impact on Elementary Student Science Academic Performance. We are your presenting authors, Raymark Fabilar, Joyce Umas, Jamari Patil, Maria Grace Domingo, and yours truly, Peter Paul Canuto. We are from Ifugao State University, Tinu Campus, Tinu Kifugao, Philippines. Good day. I am Choi Sumas and I will be presenting our studies background. To begin with, comics is a short hand term for comic strip. It is a medium that communicates ideas through visuals, frequently in conjunction with text or other visual information. It presents a series of panels of images, graphics, or visuals. These visuals are arranged to form a narrative. It can also be described as a sequence of images and text that appears in a mass medium and tells a moral and topical story. In the academe, comics that address students' interests can be used as alternative resources in science education. When comics is integrated or utilized in science education, it is called a science comics. Science comics best logically communicate information structures, making them valuable scientific tools that assist students in more efficiently following scientific procedures and concepts. In this sense, it has a potential to bridge the gap between academic knowledge and application in the actual world. With science comics, interdisciplinary learning can be integrated and science can be related to other disciplines. This undertaking can highly reinforce science technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, or STEM education. It can be used for science concepts to eliminate complexity. Its abstraction can provide the permanence of knowledge and eliminate forgetting costs by root learning since they are visually attractive to students. Moreover, it can greatly provide an explanation of a world composed of abstract scientific concepts. It can prevent students from misconceptions and encourage them to engage in scientific thinking, which may be utilized to explain scientific knowledge. The integration of science comics in, in instruction is supported by visualization. Science comics as a visualization tool helps students better understand the concepts being thought. Science comics is also supported by the constructivist approach. Its combination of visual and textual elements provides a dynamic platform that aligns with constructivism. It allows students to visually engage with characters and scenarios, promoting a participatory, participatory learning experience. Thank you. That's for my role in presenting our study's introduction. Thank you, Ms. Joyce, for presenting the background of our study. Hello, I am Maria Grace Domingo and I will continue with the presentation. For the research cup. Despite the acknowledged potential of comics to enhance students' engagement, scientific literacy, and critical thinking skills, some educators still express tension between the potential benefits of comics for engaging students with science and its risk of providing low level entertainment without commensurate learning. There are relatively few studies that have been found regarding their use in the classroom and as science educational material. Similarly, a knowledge gap exists in the locality due to the lack of related researches about science comics conducted in Tino Kifuko, Philippines. Thus, with the identified research gap, this study in two explored the potential impact of using science comics as educational materials at the elementary level, and to determine the effects of using science comics on the grade for students' academic performance. Furthermore, the conduct of the study was guided by the following research questions. What is the academic performance of the elementary students in science during the pre-test and post-test assessments? And is there a significant difference in the students' pre- and post-test results after integrating science comics as educational materials? And that is all for our research aims and objectives. Thank you, Ms. Maria Grace, for presenting the research aims and questions. I am Jomari Pateyat and I will present a portion of the methodology. For the research design, 
The study specifically utilized the classroom action research following the seven steps or phases by Strickland 1988. One of the purposes of this design is to integrate innovative approaches to the current instruction, inhibiting transformation and change among the affected student participants. It involved one of the researchers engaging in action and instruction while the student participants were learning about science. In this case, the innovative approach and the option is the employment of science comics to teach lessons about weather and weather instruments. The seven steps of classroom action research include First, identifying the problem. Second, seeking information. Third, planning the action. Fourth, implementing the action. Fifth, observing the action. Sixth, reflecting the observations. And lastly, revising the plan for future purposes. The study was conducted during the last quarter of the school year 2023-2024. The participants involved a grade 4 class section selected through purposive sampling at Palabayan Elementary School, Tinoc, Ifugao, Philippines. In total, there were 18 students which consisted of 56% or 10 males and 44% or 8 females. Further, the small number of grade 4 student participants reflected the school's low population and rural location. The study used four unique science comics that were designed by the researchers using free online comics maker. The contents of the science comics consisted of four separate lessons regarding weather and weather instruments. The science comics were downloaded, printed in full colors, reproduced, and distributed individually among the grade 4 students during each lesson. Using printed copies of the science comics as educational materials during the lesson proper is most feasible due to a lack of school resources. There were 10 test questions used in the pre- and post-test assessment. Similar questions were used in both pre- and post-test. There were standardized test items adopted from the grade 4 teaching modules ensuring the validity and reliability of the questions. That's it for the research design, materials, and instruments. Thank you, Ms. Jomari, for presenting the first sections of our methodology. Good day, I am Raymar Cabillar, and I will continue the remaining methodology sections. The study's procedures follow the seven steps identified by Strickland 1988. As presented earlier, the action and the innovative classroom approach employed is the use of science, comics regarding weather and weather instruments. The, in the practice of research ethics, the conduct of the studies sought approval from the researchers' inst institutional affiliation. Parental consent was solicited from the parents or guardians of the grade 4 students. Voluntary participation was also solicited from the grade 4 students. The student's confidentiality and anonymity were strictly observed. We, the researchers, did our best to minimize any potential harm or discomfort the science comics may have affected the students. Just to share some photo documentations of the studies conduct, seen here are my pictures as the main teacher and researcher directly involved with the grade 4 students' participants. The first one is the Swen. I am using the anemometer science comics as I am teaching one of the weather instruments. In another lesson, I am using the wind vane science comics. In both lessons, the grade 4 students created their own version of anemometers and wind vane with the aid of science comics. For the res results and discussions, the first results show the pre- and post-test academic achievement results of the grade 4 students. This table indicates that the mean percent scores show a notable increase in the student participant science academic performance after utilizing science comic strips as educational materials in teaching lessons about weather and weather instruments. 
considering the mean score of 22.22% in the pretest, the academic performance of the grade 4 students increased to 78.89% after the post-test assessments. Upon further inspection, some of the students acquired 0% scores during the pretest. Some have attained scores below the minimum passing rate of 60% based on the accepted passing score and grade used by the elementary level. These low scores show very low academic performance in science of the grade 4 students. However, there, there is an observed positive increase of the students' scores during the post-test assessments. This indicates a favorable impact of the science comics on the performance of the students at the end of the science lessons. Another result shows the comparison between the pre-test and post-test academic achievement results. The t-test results reveal the significant difference between the pre- and post-test results of the students. The table shows that the post-test is significantly higher than the pre-test. These results suggest that science comics is effectively enhance learning competencies and lessons as educational materials. It may suggest that the science comics engage the grade 4 students more interactively and enjoyably fostering the deeper comprehension and the retention of scientific concepts. The visual and narrative elements of the science comics likely appeal to various learning styles, accommodating diverse students' needs, and promoting a more inclusive science learning environment for the grade 4 level. Overall, the, with these results, the Science comics significantly impact students' academic performance after integrating science comics. This suggests that science comics effectively enhance learning competencies and lessons as educational materials. This underscores the potential or of innovative teaching methods, such as utilizing science comics. And these are the results of our study. Well, thank you very much, Ringmark, for the results and discussion. So once again, I am Peter Paul Canuto, and I'm going to present the end sections of our study. So in summary, our study determined that the pretest results show very low academic performance and science among the grade 4 students. Another one, the post-test results also show increased academic performance of the students in science after integrating the science comics about weather and weather instruments. Therefore, there was a significant difference between the pre- and post-test results among the students. With this, here are the following significance and impacts of the study that we have determined. First one, the study sheds light on the innovative application of science comics and the elementary science education. The second one, the use of science comics as educational materials in the elementary level may become a compelling and engaging medium that aligns with their you know, cognitive and imaginative capacities. Third, it will support the potential of science comics as effective educational materials or instructional tool that will foster both engagement and enhancement of scientific literacy or science literacy. However, there are still limitations to our study, such as the first one, the study only involved a small group of participants, that is, the grade 4 students in a class section at an elementary school. Thus, the study's findings are only limited to the grade 4 participants rather than the general student population. Second, the illustrations and texts used in the science comics were limited and directly related to specific or limited science topics of weather and weather instruments. It only covers specific learning competencies during the conduct of the study based on the science curriculum. And the last one, the study only utilized four science comics that were integrated in the science lessons within a given week. And here are the references that we used in the conduct of our study. With that, once again, we are your presenting authors, Ringmark Fabilar, Joyce Umes, Jomari Patia, Maria Grace Domingo, and Peter Paul Canuto from Ifugao State University, Tinu Campus. And we have presented our study titled, Science Comics as Educational Materials and its Impact on Elementary Students' Science Academic Performance. Thank you very much.